Hello everyone, my name is Eileen. Welcome back to another episode of Art of Being Calm. Today, I'll be sharing with you a glimpse into my life and things that I like to do to relax and unwind when things around me get a little overwhelmed. Oh, bye! Due to the nature of my job, I am constantly around people while conducting workshops and tours. There is a constant interaction with public and my colleagues. I am attending night school as well, so some days um, I barely can find time to relax my mind. I love being around people, but after a long day, I need time to wind down and decompress my overworked mind. Different people cope differently, and today I am going to give you a glimpse of my tips on healing with five senses. I realize that my coping mechanism can be introduced through five senses. I rely on my surrounding to search for comfort and things that bring joy. The five senses are sight, hear, touch, smell, and taste. Firstly, we are going to explore sight. Do you know that stress causes you to tunnel your vision? I always thought it was just because of me sleeping late that causes this vignette effect from my vision. Our sympathetic nervous system dominates and that leads to reduced eye circulation that affects the nutrients needed in our optic nerve tissue. After a long day of looking at the computer or doing something routinary, search for something extraordinary or amusing to look at. You do not have to go out of your way to look for it. Normally, people would suggest watching a movie or reading a book. There's no right or wrong answer to this because you know yourself best and you do you. I go for walks to calm myself and one of my favourite sights is clouds and sky. It's my sanctuary. I love the infinite space of how the sky shapes freely and changes colour. It allows my mind to wander off to bizarre ideas of people looking at the same sky and wonder what are they doing at the same time? Our visual brain has several distinct systems that differentiates our gaze and visual field. According to neuroscientist Fred Previk, visual field that goes above the horizon are often activated during meditative activity, dreaming, and probably artistic and creative activity. Such states and trances often lead our gaze upwards, providing a sense of relief. Sound around us affects our mental wellness if it disrupts our daily activities. When noise level reaches a certain decibels, your brain stops focusing and your attention will be drawn to other audio signals. My second favourite sound is wandering around the streets of the concrete jungle and carefully listen to my surrounding, especially the sound of passing cars and distant chatters. If you prefer something calmer and more peaceful, you can go for a hike. But I prefer concrete jungles because there are lesser bugs. Research has shown working near 70 decibel level is more productive than other level. It means that our mind can wander off with a decent amount of sound to trigger creative juice. But the key is, what type of sound is your favourite? The idea of sound is fairly relatable to white noise. So why do people like white noise? There are people who use white noise to mask a sudden disrupt. The sudden disrupt could be a loud background noise that changes the decibels, which can easily cause frustration for some people as it breaks their train of thoughts. The preferable decibel level of white noise range from below 50 to 65. The equal intensity of white noises helps our brain to relax by the constant vibration it produces. White noise, as I perceive, is a sound used to break the screeching silence but yet allows you to feel a sense of tranquility and relaxation. For some people, it helps them to focus better. The next sense I'm going to share with you is touch. 
integumentary system, which is our skin, is the largest organ of our body. Sensitive to touch, it is a powerful stimulus for relieving. Some may go for massage, some may exercise to relieve the stressful emotions. The act of touching stimulates senses within muscles and joints, sending messages back and forth from the skin to the brain. Some things that I love to do to boost my spirit or to make myself feel better are taking warm showers or even occasionally changing a hairdo. Research has shown that some people love warm showers as it warms up the body and muscles to release tension in your body. The heat widens your blood vessels and increases blood flow. The things that you can feel is not just about physical touch but also your own emotional needs as well. I change my hairstyle quite a lot with hair dyes or new haircut as you can tell from other art science at home content that we publish. Psychologists analyze that it is empowering to make changes in your life especially when you feel that other aspects of your life are out of your control. It may or may not be relatable but if changes makes you happy, why not? Here comes my favorite scents. Sweet, sour, spicy, bitter and savory. I bet you are particularly inclined towards a certain taste. It's spicy for me. And here comes a tricky question. Is spicy a taste or is it a feeling? Based on the health research that I found, spiciness is a pain signal sent by the nerves that transmit touch and temperature sensation. Capsaicin in food seasoned with chili causes a sensation of pain and heat. And the sensation triggers the release of endorphin, which is happy chemical in our body. Now I know why I love chili and how chili makes me happy. Scent, emotions and memories are intertwined. Have you ever had deja vu? where a certain scent brings you back to a certain memory that leads you to remembering how you felt during that exact moment. Now, it's time for you to find a scent that reminds you of happiness or to lighten up the mood. Aromatherapy is one of the most common techniques. This healing treatment uses plant extract to promote health and well-being. I use lavender for sleeping and for my day-to-day -to, -day to focus, I use peppermint and lemon. And my daily go-to is green tea. And I use green tea as perfume. Different scent invokes different feeling. So I hope you are able to find a scent that suits you. Our nose sends signals to our brain every time we smell something in tiny particles or molecules that floats through the air from the cells in our nasal cavity to olfactory bulb that tells you what you are smelling right now. Different scent invokes different feelings and emotions because the scent can alter brain waves and behavior. Aromatherapy or smelling your favorite fragrance can reduce stress and increase contentment. I hope you enjoy this glimpse into my life. These are some of the things that I do to de-stress personally. My five senses of healing may not be applicable for all because we all heal differently, but I hope that these suggestions might inspire you to not neglect the little things in life and embrace the senses that you have within you. Do stay tuned for more upcoming episodes of Art of Being Calm. Till then, good night!